Hello students, welcome back to this uh, new video. So here we are going to continue the lesson quality. It hurts you that he said, here he refers to the German uh, shoemaker, Mr. Gessler. Those big firms have no self-respect. Okay, here he talks about the big firms, okay, those uh, who gives much advertisement for uh, in the sake of his uh, in uh, his business okay so those big firms he criticized the big firms for their uh, low quality okay not a quality product but they are uh, giving much importance to uh, their advertisement okay it, hurt, it hurts you that he said those big firms have no self respect and then as if something had given way within him he spoke long and bitterly it was the only time i ever heard him discuss the conditions and hardships of his trade here author expressed his um, experience because he used to go to that shop many times but he never had any uh, discussion about uh, his trade mr gessler's trade and his uh, personal uh, hardships and conditions but this is the first time this is the first time according to the author he says his experience and he tells this is the first time he heard about his conditions and hardships of his trade because uh, his business presently not doing well it was the only time i ever heard him discuss the conditions and the hardships of his trade here they get it all he said he again he refers to he refers to the german shoemaker mr gessler they get it by advertisement okay yes of course the big firms as i refer to the big firms uh, get it by advertisement they have lot of business they have good trade all because of their advertisement not by work okay even people really uh, willing to have something from the big firms okay not the small shops people um, people just reluctant to go to the small shops in fact they would go to the big firms because the advertisement attracted attracts the people okay they get it by advertisement not by work they take it away from us because we are doing quality product we are doing very quality product but we have we are not doing the advertisement as much as they are doing okay so they take it away from us they take it away all the business from us who who have who love our boots okay who love our boots it comes to this presently okay it comes to this presently have no work okay i have no work every year it gets less okay every year year by year my business is getting lesser and lesser it is all because of the big firms because of their advertisement they take they take away all the business from us okay it it is uh, it is all because of their advertisement not because of their work you will see and looking at his lined face i saw things i had never noticed before okay i it see it, it seems quite different because i saw things i had never noticed before i have seen many things uh, in his face but it was not seen before bitter things and bitter struggle and what a lot of gray hairs 
there seemed suddenly in his red beard okay in his red beard bitter things and bitter struggle and what a lot of gray hairs there seemed suddenly in his red beard because here here the author says his experience whatever he saw in that situation from from the from mr gessler okay he had uh, seen quite few times gessler before but this time is completely different because he looks so different because his business is not doing well he uh, he struggled uh, to lead his life normally okay so bitter things and bitter struggle and what a lot of gray has there seemed suddenly in his red beard as best i could i explained the circumstances of those ill omen boots here ill omen means a misfortune okay ill omen means in the condition is uh, uh, not good bringing misfortune as best i could i explained the circumstances of those ill omen boots but his face and voice made so deep and impressing that during the next few minutes i ordered many pairs okay uh, when i spoke to him i came to understand that he is not in a uh, good condition okay because he struggles he struggles to lead his life normally uh, as his business is not doing well all the business taken away by the big firms not because of their quality but because of their advertisement they took away all the trade from us this is what the biggest worry of mr gessler and he says this experience and he says his uh, heart hardship to the author okay this is the author author himself uh, told that he said this is the first time i ever heard about his personal life okay his uh, the condition of his trade but his face and voice made so deep an impression that during the next few minutes i ordered many pairs they lasted longer than ever and i was not able to go to him for nearly 2 years okay and i was not able to go to him for nearly 2 years because we know uh, once uh, he, if he if he make any boot that would be lasting for long again he, he doesn't need to go to uh, frequently to this shop because once he made something it would be lasting for long the quality is assured okay the quality uh, the, the product the boots the, is very much assured in the gessler shop so you don't need to go to this shop so often here same experience uh, from the author and i was not able to go to him for nearly 2 years it was many months before my next visit to his shop this time it appeared to be his elder brother handling a piece of leather okay this time it appeared to be his elder brother okay this time not that mr that gessler but here his elder brother well mr gessler i said how are you he came close and peered at me i am prevel he said slowly but my elder brother is a uh, dead okay but my elder brother is dead here well mr gessler i said how are you he came close and peered at me i am pretty well he said slowly but my elder brother is dead this time i went to uh, this shop but i could not meet the gessler which i had met so Uh, frequently but this time is elder brother well mr gessler i said how are you i asked him uh, i inquired him about his health i asked how are you 
and he came close because he became very old okay because the author uh, not visited for long to this shop this time he was so old and uh, he cannot, he could not uh, recognize who is exactly in front of him so well mr gessler i said how are you he came close and peered at me and said i am pretty well okay i am pretty well he said slowly but my elder brother is dead and i saw that it was indeed himself but how aged and wan okay i saw that it was indeed him so na na ivaru da apdi nenche okay the gesla brother first na meet panna meet panna le avaru da ivaru nenche solli na pesitt iruken but here he, he is elder brother okay he is elder brother and never before had i heard him mention his brother never before had i heard him mention his brother avaru engitta idu varaikku avarku brother irukkar nenta sonnade kedaiyadu this is the first time i came to know that he has he had brother and much shocked i murmured oh i'm so i'm sorry oh i'm sorry yes he answered okay gesler brother gesler's brother answered he was a good man he made a good boot but he is dead and he touched the top of his head he touched his top of his head who gesler's brother touched his top of his head where the hair had suddenly gone as thin as it had been on that of his poor brother to indicate i suppose the cause of his death i suppose the cause of his death do you want any boots again uh, gesler gesler gesler's brother asked the author do you want any boots and he held up the leather in his hand he had a leather in his hand and he asked me do you want any boots this is a beautiful piece okay it is a beautiful piece so here we are uh, concluding the uh this week's part we will be continuing the next portion next portion in the next video okay thank you